everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about the Import Wizard in Salesforce. Now the Import Wizard has some pretty key features which we'll need to be aware of. The first of which, it can only import accounts, contacts, leads, solutions, campaign members, custom objects and person accounts. So it's actually got quite a limited number of objects that it can update. Noticeably missing from that list is actually opportunities. All right, Import Wizard cannot import opportunities. With Import Wizard, you can only import up to 50,000 records at a time. Compared to the 5 million with Data Loader, this is quite a small number. With Import Wizard, you can prevent duplicates by checking the name, the email, or Salesforce ID fields. And for accounts specifically, it checks the account name and the site field. Now, record import will fail with Import Wizard if there is a missing field that is either required at the field level or is the master detail field on a detail record. This is also a required field. Validations are always enforced with Data Import Wizard. But there are some really handy tricks that we can go over to help you remember all of these key features of the Import Wizard. When I think of Data Import Wizard, I think of a scrawny little wizard who is trying his best, something a bit like um, the wizard from Sword in the Stone, Merlin. Now, I always think about wizards teaching, right? They often do a lot of teaching, they do a lot of reading. And so I think about a wizard teaching a class. And this is where I get my acronym, which is CCCLAS. These are the objects that an import wizard can import. Contacts, campaigns, custom objects, leads, accounts, solutions. That helps me remember the objects that a data import wizard can import. I then imagine this little wizard bouncing around and waving his wand and then a great big 50,000 coming up in sparkly letters above him. This is a great way for you to visually remember the information about a data import wizard. And just remember as well to take your time and really look at the name, data import wizard. You cannot export using just an import tool. It's in the name, data import wizard. So remember that one as well. I hope that this was useful for you, that it gave you a couple of tricks to remember these by. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.